Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about signs your ex regrets breaking up with you. Okay, so this is obviously something that you're hoping for and looking for. And so today, I'm going to be talking about some of the signs that I see more often than other signs. Obviously, there can be a lot of different signs, but I'm gonna cover the major ones that I see come up. And this is gonna be really helpful to you because I know your ex is likely doing a lot of confusing behaviors. Believe me, I see it all the time that even when exes come back, they're doing things that are contradictory, uh, you know, out of character, uh, you're trying to interpret their behavior. And so it gets really confusing. And so some of these are really reflective of your ex's internal state and that they are feeling regret. I mean, you got to think about regret. What is regret? How, when have you felt regret in your life? Well, probably right now, your biggest regret is I wish I was a better partner or I regret doing certain things in this past relationship. And so you're facing the consequences of some of those behaviors. Not all of you, okay? Some of you may have been great partners, but some of you are really regretting being neglectful, not listening to your partner, not understanding their needs and things of that nature. Cause we're not perfect. Nobody's perfect in a relationship, okay? So don't beat yourself up and just stay focused on the past. Focus on the present and who you're going to be so you don't have any regrets. And you wanna stay incredibly motivated to grow and to change and to look at your attachment issues while you're in no contact because the last thing you wanna do is have another chance with your ex and not be prepared because then you're really gonna feel regret. And I can tell you, I have a lot of calls with people that are like, I never thought I would hear from them again. I stopped doing the work. They came back. We got back together and now we're broken up again because I didn't really change. Honestly, I hate seeing that for you guys. So I really want you to understand and think about regret. If your ex comes back, how ready will you be right now? How much will you regret not doing the work? not doing those workbooks 30 minutes a day. I mean, think about it, just 30 minutes a day will change your life. There are 90 something videos in one through 10, volumes one through 10 that will change your life. And the Creative Healing Course goes in a lot more depth and into your unconscious than even the workbooks do. So please, I hate to see anybody regret not staying motivated in a breakup. Even if it has nothing to do with your ex, do it for yourself. Do it for you because you are going to date people the rest of your life and you don't want to ruin your chances or hurt your chances with somebody else that you're crazy about. So let's get into these signs. These are signs your ex is regretting the breakup. Number one, they look anxious over the situation. Now, it can be confusing to you because you're like, why are they anxious? They were the one that broke up with me. They are the one that had all the power. I know. But if you've done like we've suggested and you've been in no contact and left them alone, that space is having a big impact on them. That is hurting their internal state to where they're feeling anxiety and fear. Fear that they're losing you. Fear that you're moving on. And so if you see that your ex is anxious and fearful over different things, then that is going to be a great sign that they are regretting things and they want you back, okay? If you stop reaching out and you create space that lets them feel separation anxiety, that is likely to put them in a fearful state where they are internalizing regret and thinking about the consequence. Now they're dealing with it. Now they're missing you. Now they're thinking about you and that initial power dynamic that they have all the power after the breakup starts to fade with time. And the more you work on yourself, the more you get yourself to a confident place, okay? So if you see any 
anxious or fearful behaviors where they look emotional, they can't seem to soothe themselves or control themselves, maybe they've got impulsive behavior. Here's a big one. Your ex contacts you 14 times, right? Uh, we filmed a video the other day where Victoria and I were talking about the ex had stopped reaching out and all of a sudden when the avoidant comes back and now they're feeling rejected, they wound up calling the dumpy 14 times in a row. You see, so that's what I'm talking about. Any kind of anxiety ridden behaviors, now you are getting some of your power back, okay? Uh, number two, any form of reaching out. Now, many times your ex doesn't say something like, I miss you, or uh, I wanna see you, or can we talk? Honestly, that does happen, but for the most part, exes are afraid to reach out, so they do something more indirect. And that's what I call the indirect direct approach. Now, the indirect direct, I call it that because your ex isn't directly saying something like, I miss you. It's indirect. They're contacting you about something, and many times it's a very confusing uh, situation or Maybe it's something that they need from you or a silly question that they have. And a big one that we see is I miss the cat <laughs> or here's this picture of the cats together. I don't know why that one has come up on such a consistent basis. I would say it's probably the number one indirect direct that we see something regarding a cat, a picture of a cat, their cat's Instagram is now following you. I'm telling you, it's really odd. For whatever reason, <laughs> you gotta get a cat if you're going through a breakup. Um, so, you're getting this indirect direct. It's confusing because they're not outright saying that they miss you yet uh, or that they wanna see you, but it's a great sign that they're starting to regret things, them reaching out. Now, if they have to reach out for something business related like uh, a mortgage or some specific bill, it could be an indirect direct, but it's probably not. So you're like walking a very fine line when it comes to something like that. And uh, oftentimes when we're doing a call, I'm having to look at the context and the behavior around it before it and after it. And then when I see all those things together, I can kind of piece it together, right? All right, another big one here. If your ex starts openly telling you about what's going on in their life, like just talking to you about things that you had no idea were going on, but now they're just saying these things like you guys never even broke up, that's a big sign. And I see this a lot, it's very confusing because you'll go from not hearing from them and not talking to them to all of a sudden they're just telling you everything that's been going on in their life. And you're like, I, I, what, what is going on here? But that's a big sign that their, your ex is regretting things. And when they start to open up, the more they're opening up and telling you and volunteering information, the more likely it's because they're trying to reconnect and share experiences with you again. So that's a really good sign. Okay, number four. If your ex asks you if you're dating somebody else, why? Why would they care if they're really moving on? If they're really over you and they're really happy, why would they care? Now, sometimes they'll be like, well, I just care about you. I just care about you so much. I just wanna know. Uh-huh. Yeah, you wanna know because you're starting to regret things and you're probably f afraid that I'm moving on. Now, it's not like that 100% of the time. There's no certainty, but oftentimes when we're doing coaching calls, I'm sitting here thinking, all right, yeah, okay, they're full of it. No, nope, I see right through this, okay? But it's a good sign, because why are they worried about it? you're dating somebody else or connecting with somebody else if they didn't really care about uh, you? Okay, number five. Now this is kind of similar, and it kind of goes along with number four, because sometimes you'll see them together, but asking you if you miss them. 
Now, you gotta be careful here because sometimes they just want the validation that they've still got you. You don't want them to think that, you know, you've been in no contact all this time and that you're still obsessively thinking about them, even if you are. You don't want them to know that because if they get that validation and it feeds their ego, uh, it could make them feel like, okay, I got enough out of this interaction and they disappear again. So ideally, I'd want them to answer first. If you can somehow turn it around and be like, why do you miss me? Why you've been thinking about me? Something along those lines. Um, so ideally you want to get their answer first and kind of mirror it, but you want to be very careful because you know, you don't want to look eager and many of us fall to pieces when we get in front of our ex again and we just spill our guts. So you never want to spill your guts. Even if you miss them, you don't want to act like you're a cold fish and that you just don't care, but you do also don't want to just feed their ego enough to just disappear. So there's a balance there, okay? All right, number six. Are they emotional about things? Are they still really upset about certain things? Or, or the breakup itself? Do they seem like they're crying about it or they're crying over you or they get tearful, they're missing you, you know? Do they shake? Sometimes exes will shake or they'll look very fidgety and nervous. So if you have an opportunity to see their body language, pay close attention. Sometimes they can get quiet if they're in front of you. Obviously, um, it's tough to read that if they're emotional, right? But if their internal state is changed and you can sense something is off with their energy, their body language, the way they're looking at you, that's a good sign, right? Because it shows they still care, right? You don't get emotional about things you don't care about, right? You don't get emotional about the time you got a dead battery in your car 10 years ago, right? You're not sitting there getting all upset about it anymore, even though at the time you're like stressed out and upset and you're stuck on the side of a road or in a parking lot or something, or you're late for work. At the time, you were upset, you were emotional because you cared. But now it's like, oh, it doesn't really matter. So if you see your ex is emotional about things, that's a good sign. Um, and they're not likely to going to be as vulnerable as you will be. In other words, like I just did a call with a guy this week who unfortunately didn't stick to our plan. Uh, he has massive amounts of anxiety and he really struggled. And within less than a week, he didn't stick to the plan, didn't stick to, stick to the strategies spilled his guts to his ex, wound up staying way too long on the phone with her, telling her how he felt, was crying on the phone, getting all emotional with her. But the good thing in his particular situation, it wound up being okay because she got emotional too and showed that she cared, but you don't want to get emotional if you can at all help it, okay? Uh, unless your ex is really spilling their guts to you and then you can warm up a little bit because now they're being vulnerable. Okay, the last one. And this is a big one. Obviously, it may be obvious, but it may not be. Uh, in some ways it is obvious, in some ways it's not. But if they're asking to see you, that's obviously a great sign, okay? If your ex tells you they want to see you, they want to get together, uh, they want to come over and hang out, um, they want to go to dinner with you. They are wanting to spend time with you is a great sign that they regret the breakup and they want to get back together or they're seriously considering it. They may have those reservations and continue to think, I don't know if we'll work out. I don't know if they're great for me. I don't know if they've changed things like that, but it's a good sign that they're at least willing to look at it. And also that goes along with this is that they're looking for excuses to see you. So if they're flat out asking you, that's obviously a big sign. If they're looking for excuses, it's likely a sign, but it can be tricky. In other words, you know, sometimes they'll say, Hey, I want to come by and get this thing. And, and this thing is like, why would you even want that particular thing? I've seen some really bizarre things over the years, like, 
I've seen it's like some pots and pans, but it wasn't even that much. It was like a Tupperware bowl and things like that. I've seen uh, things like junk mail. I've seen uh, items of clothing that are not valuable to them or they didn't even really wear or really care about. So it was just excuses. And so if your ex is looking for excuses to see you, that's a good sign that they're starting to regret things and they want to put themselves in your orbit to see how things go, to see how they feel around you. And any opportunity that you get with your ex, you have to stay disciplined and in emotionally self-controlled states where you're not vomiting your feelings and spending too much time with your ex at once is likely to cause you to say and do things you regret, okay? So now these are just seven of the ones that I see more often, but I'd love to hear yours if you have some to share in the comments and maybe we've overlooked them or it's always nice to see, oh, okay, this is a good sign to look for in the future and it helps other people out too. So hopefully you found this one helpful. Of course, if you wanna get my help personally, you could do that on my website, askcraig.net. I do email coaching and I do Skype. You can find my workbooks there and my creative healing course as well. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and I will talk with you soon.